Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's reading lesson. This week we have been talking about expert words in our nonfiction book. And yesterday we thought about how we can use the picture to help us understand what those expert word means. Those expert words mean, sorry. So does the picture always give us all the information? No, there's something else in the books that can help us with more understanding, the words. So today, we're going to take what we were thinking from the pictures. Remember, we looked at this part of my honeybee book. And see if we can think about the words to understand a little bit more about those expert words. All right, friends, I'm coming back to my honeybees book. And yesterday, I was reading this part about um, pollen and nectar. And I heard those expert words, pollen and nectar. And then I also heard this expert word, proboscis. And I want to try to figure out more about what those words mean. Yesterday, I thought pollen might be this little powdery yellow stuff from the flowers. Let me see what the word said and see if that helps me understand. Honeybees collect pollen and nectar from flowers. Well, there was that word pollen, and then it did say it collects pollen from the flowers. And I noticed in the picture, it was here on the flower. So the words go along with what I was already thinking. Then it said, honeybees carry pollen on their legs in pollen baskets. Hmm. I noticed that the bee had that powdery yellow stuff, but now I'm thinking about these words. Honeybees carry pollen on their legs in pollen baskets. So look at that. This part on its leg must be the pollen basket. I'm thinking about when I'm collecting or picking up something like laundry at my house, sometimes I put it in a laundry basket. Now that I've heard these words pollen basket, I can understand that this is like a basket on the honeybee's leg to help them pick up the pollen, the powdery stuff from flowers. All right, man, then we came to this word, proboscis. Honeybees drink nectar from flowers with their proboscis. And you had some really good thoughts based on the picture. We noticed it was down here coming off maybe like a nose. But then when I was thinking a little bit more about the words, honeybees drink nectar. Hmm, I'm thinking of something that I do when I drink. Sometimes I get a drink and I have this long tube that goes into my drink like a straw. I'm wondering if this is like almost like a straw for the honeybee to get down into the flower to drink the nectar. So if they drink nectar, nectar must be a liquid. Pollen is something powdery that you could collect in a basket, but I couldn't pick up water in a basket. I might have to drink it up because it's a liquid, just like nectar. If you drink nectar, it must be a liquid. So it's like they're using this part of their body like a straw to drink the nectar. Okay, so today we used what we had already thought from the pictures yesterday and then thought a little bit more about the words that are also on the page to help us understand those expert words. Today, when you're reading, I want you to try to think about the words and the pictures to help you learn more about important words in your topic.